Have you ever wondered where your local Thai or Vietnamese restaurant are getting all their ingredients? If you're from the United States, the chances are those herbs and spices are being imported. In this episode, I'm going to rank the top five Southeast Asian nations where the United States imports from the most and what the United States is actually importing from those countries. It might surprise you. One, two, three, Aloha! Aloha. We are Kencho Quest. We travel to open our minds and our hearts. The data I'm about to share with you is from a company I work with called U.S. Trade Numbers. They graciously gave me permission to share some of this data with you today. If you're interested in everything trade with the United States, check out their website or their YouTube channel. It's loaded with a lot of really good information. I'll leave a link to those down below. Today we are ranking the top five Southeast Asian nations by total import value for the year ending 2020. And I'll show you each country's top five commodities that are imported into the U.S. Let's get to the top five. Number five is Indonesia, with a total import trade value of U.S. $20.5 billion. The top five imports from Indonesia are shrimp and other crustaceans, which include lobsters with a value of $984.64 million, sweaters, hoodies, and vests with a value of $742.93 million, Preserved shrimp and lobster at $725 million. Rubber at $658.3 million. And furniture at $657 million. Number four is Singapore with a value of $30.8 billion. The number one import from Singapore is prepared foods. Now this includes a lot of things such as artificial sweeteners, natural sweeteners, coffee substitutes, creamers, and so on. And that prepared foods has a value of $3.2 billion. Number two is gold at $2.85 billion. Number three is returned exports. What that is, is goods that the United States originally exported to Singapore, but then was returned back to the United States. The value of that is $2.51 billion. Number four, is jewelry with precious metals at 2.43 billion. And number five is medicine in individual doses coming in at 2.38 billion dollars. The number three ranked Southeast Asian nation is Thailand with a value of 37.6 billion dollars. The number one import is computers at 6.01 billion. Number two is mobile phones at 3.13 billion. Number three is rubber tires at 2.79 billion. Now what's significant about this is that they are the number one overall for rubber tires. What I mean by that is out of all the countries in the world, not just Southeast Asian nations, we import rubber tires more from Thailand than anywhere else. Photosensitive semiconductors comes in at number four at 1.49 billion. And number five is printers at 928.52 million dollars. The number two ranked nation is Malaysia, coming in at $44.2 billion. The number one import from Malaysia is computers, with a value of $15.04 billion. This is also significant because Malaysia ranks number one overall for all computer chips imported into the United States. Number two is photosensitive semiconductors, and again, they rank number one overall for all in that category to the United States with a value of $3.05 billion. Number three is mobile phones and related equipment at 2.63 billion. Number four is apparel made out of rubber accessories coming in at $2.55 billion. And again, they rank number one overall in that category. And rounding out the top five are printers and related accessories coming in at $2.16 billion. And the number one overall ranked Southeast Asian nation where the United States imports from is Vietnam with a value of $79.6 billion. The number one import from Vietnam is mobile phones with a value of $13.22 billion, followed by furniture parts at $6.07 billion, followed by seats coming in at $3.22 billion, athletic and textile shoes. 2.86 billion and they rank number one overall for that category. And number five is computer chips with a value of 2.52 billion. If we add up the value of all of these top five nations, 
that comes in at $212.5 billion in value. Compare that to the overall import value for the entire world, that is $2.37 trillion. So the total percentage value for the top five Southeast Asian nations is 6.1% of the overall total. Now, if you compare that to the overall top five importing nations of the United States, their value is 1.27 trillion. And what are those countries? That includes China at number one, number two is Mexico, number three, Canada, number four, Japan, and number five, Germany. And their overall percentage accounts for 33.6% of the total import value into the United States of 2020. So you might be wondering, okay, the top five accounts for 33% and the top five Southeast Asian nations only account for 6.1%. However, if we compare the data from the previous year, we can see that with all of the top five Southeast Asian nations, their imports to the United States have increased. Let me give you some numbers here. The total imports from Vietnam increased 19.44%. Malaysia up 8.8%. Thailand up 12.37%. Singapore up 16.9% and Indonesia up 38%. Compare that with the top five overall, which again are China, Mexico, Canada, Japan, and Germany. All of those are down. Now just for fun, let's look at the overall top 10 Southeast Asian nations. Coming in at number six is the Philippines with a value of 11.1 billion, Cambodia at 6.58 billion, Myanmar, 1 billion, Laos, 105 million, and Brunei at 83 million. Now, if you're wondering, well, what happened to the spices and herbs I was talking about earlier? Well, it turns out they are being imported, but their value is just so much lower compared to everything else. Surprisingly, there were only three food related items in the entire top 50 being imported from the Southeast Asian nations. Number six overall was the prepared foods coming from Singapore, shrimp and lobster coming in at number 39 from Indonesia, and coconuts, cashews, and Brazil nuts coming in at number 40 overall. So what about some of those other ingredients, those herbs and spices? Let's see where cinnamon comes in. Cinnamon mostly comes from Indonesia with a value of 81.3 million, and next is Vietnam at 34.4 million. Nutmeg, mace, and cardamom comes mostly from Guatemala with a value of 22.9 million, and Indonesia coming in at second at 14 million. Other spices such as ginger, thyme, curry, turmeric, and saffron, where are they coming from? Not surprisingly, number one is India at 64.4 million. However, what is a surprise to me at least, is China coming in very close second at 64.2 million. So what have we learned overall? Southeast Asia is becoming a major tech industry. They have large amounts of exports in mobile phones, modems, routers, computers, computer chips, monitors and cameras and like I mentioned before most of these categories if not all of them are going up. If you found this information useful please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to check out ustradenumbers.com for more information related to all US trade related data and let me know your thoughts in the comments below and you might also be interested in our cost of living Southeast Asia playlist. Thanks for watching we'll see you next time.